Hello, I'll be with you in a second. That's better. All right, how are we doing? So it's Tim Sandal back with a, uh, another video, Crash Goes the Mop. And uh, this video, I want to talk about cleaning and disinfection, looking at the triple bucket system. Um, so it's another five minute clean room based video. Okay, so for um, cleaning and disinfection, you know, we need a system that's going to effectively apply detergent and then disinfectant uniformly, smoothly, evenly across the surface and allow us to pick up contamination by the detergent, the sweeping motion, the disattaching of microorganisms from the surface and then allowing the disinfectant to make contact for the required um, time in order to kill the microorganisms. So we could just use a mop and bucket where we apply a solution to a surface and here would be dipping a mop repeatedly into a bucket and that would lead to contamination building up in the solution in the bucket and eventually poor cleaning efficiency. So not good for GMP purposes. Um, we also need to make sure that we're using a mop with a good level of saturation. That means it takes in enough cleaning solution so we can do an even application of the fluid across the floor. And also that we're doing good technique. So we're doing even parallel overlapping strokes. And we keep doing that until the mop becomes contaminated, if it dries out, or when we reach the capacity that a bucket can deliver for the room, which is typically just one clean room or an area of 20 square meters, whichever is the greatest. Okay, we also need to make sure that the um, mops and also wipes that we use are non-particle shedding. So the picture there is just supposed to represent um, particles in uh, Richard's mansion. And also we need to make sure that um, they're clean room certified, that they're non-woven, that they're of a lint-free variety, they have a large liquid holding capacity, and that they're sterile when they're required to be sterile, as in the aseptic filling suite. So some facilities use what's called the double bucket system. So this is better than the single blah, blah, blah bucket system, but it's still not ideal um, because we're still rinsing out into um, one bucket and then going straight back into our cleaning solution. So better, but we don't want to do that kind of stuff. So what we look at is the triple bucket system. So this has a ringer to squeeze out the mop above a third bucket. So after the mop has been used to apply a solution to the surface, it's rung over an empty bucket, rinsed in clean water, and then it's rung out again. And we can show that in this picture. So the mop can be reloaded into the cleaning or disinfection solution, and this helps to minimize the contamination of the clean water or the cleaning solution and it generally helps to improve the efficiency of the cleaning process. And there's lots of studies that show that the triple bucket system delivers improved cleaning and disinfection. So it's what's recommended for classified clean rooms. But of course it's good practice to practice the triple bucket system. So new starters should be in the training center doing this practice and the technique and always to remind ourselves why this technique is important. So the first application of disinfectant or detergent is from the first bucket which we can call bucket A and after the first application with the mop head it's then wrung out into what we call our discard bucket. So we're squeezing out 
all that excess cleaning solution, but also all of the dirt and contaminants that have been picked up. The mop head should then go into the third bucket, which we can call bucket C, of a detergent or disinfection solution. And then after the second application of detergent or disinfectant, the mop head or cloth is then wrung back out into bucket B, and then dipped back into bucket A, and then we're repeating that sequence. So through this, we're minimizing contamination and we're minimizing um, the um, level of dirt that's going to go back into the buckets and also we're using that way to extend the cleaning and disinfection solutions. So at BPL for example we've proven that this system can go for four hours and up to that point the detergent or disinfectant still retains um, sufficient antimicrobial properties but of course this needs to be shown through careful and controlled laboratory studies. An alternative is pre-saturated mops. So these are mops that come already with the cleaning or disinfection solution already in them. And these can also be very um, effective and um, kind of fit in with that whole single-use, sterile, disposable technology vibe. Okay, so this is the end of the um, video. Uh, a slight shameless plug is that those pictures have come from this wonderful book called The Guide to Cleaning and Disinfection of Solutions, edited by me, which is um, should be in every workplace. Um, so I'd like to say thank you very much for your um, attention. I hope this um, video has been of um, some benefit and it's given the principles of the triple bucket system and why the triple bucket system is so important. And uh, by the looks of things, I've got a bit more work to do. Cheerio, till next time, from Tim Sandal.